Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Blam Partners. Uh, we are live in the, you know, our Facebook group just keeps growing and growing and growing. I'm really happy about that. Um, we've got we've got over 180 members now. Nice. Pretty good, isn't it? I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We go live every Wednesday Amazing. at 4 p.m. for our exclusive for our Blam Partners. And today we have a very, very, very special guest. And um, this man um, came into our lives, I think, about four four years ago, <laughs> wasn't it? He wandered, yeah. wandered in, wandered yeah, in. Yeah, it's been about that now, yeah. Um, yeah, it's made a bit of an impact. So um, really, really pleased to announce um, the interview today. Uh, Grant, Grant's going to interview Theodore Hoffman. Uh, where he's got a social media agency called Social, S-O-H-C-I-A-L. Um, he puts the O in social. He puts the O. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love it. Oh. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so sure. I love it. Yeah. Um, that, yeah. Great, great name. And um, yeah, it's been absolutely um, kicking it over, over the last, well, we, we, I mean, that, that sort of started two years ago, didn't it? Um, and then recently we've been doing a bit of work together, but Grant's going to talk more about that. I just quickly wanted to mention, guys, um, we go live um, with with Blam Partner Training every Monday at 5 p.m. Um, that's super exclusive just for partners. Um, the Blam Partners Inner Circle every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, we do an exclusive info- interview to the group today, but that's actually going to become part of our uh, sort of wider podcast. Um, so you can you can actually watch this back on YouTube. Uh, by the way, if you're watching this on a replay or you're listening to the podcast, there's loads and loads of cool stuff. We've got David Rahman. We've got entrepreneurial learning. If you're starting up your business, this is ideal for startups. Um, really, really excited about that. Um, but please give us a like. Yeah, really, really love it if you could give us a quick, quick <laughs> like and you know subscribe because we're going to be doing loads and loads of content. Um, going forward. Um, I'm going to sit in the background and monitor the chat. I can see there's already some people making comments. Um, we're going to do a Q&A with Theo, uh, which is going to last about 20 minutes. And then um, Theo is going to tell us what he's been up to uh, going forward. And then we'll wrap it up. So we'll be about half an hour. Brilliant. Cool. See Cheers, you guys. Eric. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bud. Cheers, Theo. How you doing, buddy? How are you, brother? I'm well, man. I'm very, very, very well. Excited, grounded. Yeah, man. Just, just in a good state today. Um, been a, in a good state majority of days, but like today, has been super positive. Oh, awesome. It looks like you might be uh, rocking it in the Blam office there. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I was just <laughs> thought I'd pass by, but then obviously, when I got the message that you guys didn't hear, I was like, all right, cool, no stress. So, yeah, um, we're not in today, but yeah, you know, man, I'm just boots anyway, mate. Today. Yeah, as, <laughs> as long as we've got the internet, as long as we've got like connection That's to the it. Wi-Fi, we're all good in it. We can meet wherever, whenever, however. So That's it, mate. yeah. So, um, first thing I want to start with is just to say uh, what a brilliant um, impact you brought to the the brutal business boot camp that we did uh, a few months back now. Um, Mm -hmm. still get people talking to me about it still you know had somebody mention it the other day how they said it literally changed their lives um and your Mm -hmm. interview amazing very very moving and i I met gurdev yesterday um and and i I remember vividly (laughs) when you came off stage he just gave you the longest bear hug (laughs) do you remember (laughs) yeah yeah totally man it was never going to end was it and um so what i just wanted to just quickly do based on that is follow up because obviously a lot of the people that are watching this will have seen the business boot camp if you haven't seen it guys i'm sure ed will drop a link it's we've still got a live version of it and we did um a really cool interview with theo where he talked about some of his backstory um but I thought we could start with that because that was a little bit of a, a sort of a breakthrough moment for you, wasn't it? Do you want to tell us a little bit about what happened? Yeah, after most that? definitely. Yes. Yeah, so um, after like 
after like being in Manchester and spending that time literally not having anywhere to like live and stay and so forth and then finding that opportunity um, at the Gate Films and knocking on the door after doing sales, um, it just made me realise, okay, like there's more. And then obviously pushing with that whole mindset that I've had, like more will come to me as long as I give that energy out um, that I'll get it back. I constantly just want to be able to give people the information and the energy and some people would say well you're giving away a bit too much but then if i didn't do that then i wouldn't be being true to myself and i think it's important to be true to yourself and like that's the whole kind of philosophy that i've done with business ultimately to a point where when i do speak to people they trust me so much then it's like i have to work with you because he's giving me so much value up front that it's like it's hard not not to work with it. It, it might not be straight away it might take years it might be down the road sometime or it might be even a different project but um majority of people do do come back to me and it's just because of the amount of impact that i can give to others actually even today um i was speaking to a lady called rebecca malone she says like you need to give yourself a pat on the back with the amount of work that you do and it's like yeah but then obviously we always have that side of us that wants more progress or more money or to hit that vision to get to where you want to be um but all in all all of these bad things well they're not bad these lessons just help you get to where you need to be and sometimes mm -hmm. even i was i was thinking about it myself um over this week um that i need to just sharpen a few edges of mine and start like really sharpening my phone sales skills so like at the moment today i've been sorting out my calendar solid for all the sales calls for calls for the appointments and then also for the meetings and stuff like that um which before was all over the place but i could handle it but now it's about just sharpening it condensing it and just putting more structure to everything to make things flow faster and so I don't become overwhelmed and I think when you start off a lot of people get overwhelmed and it's just natural but it's not until you go through all the different things you can then start saying okay where can I put my time more efficiently and energy more efficiently to get the best result possible so that's what I'm kind that, of working on at the moment but it's been positive that diary management uh, that you just showed us is absolutely key. But sometimes you have to go on a bit of a journey of all the multitasking, yeah, you know, in order to figure that one out. You know, and it, we've all been through that journey. But I think what one of the things that um, I've I've definitely noticed is the boot camp was quite a sort of transformational moment for you because it was the first time you'd really told your story and you'd really opened up, and that's why it was so emotional. I think for yeah, literally. Um, but it also from so from then on you did start opening up quite a lot more with your own personal brand um mm -hmm. and the way that you actually delivered your message and you kind of i don't know it almost felt like it kind of it let the sort of genie out of the bottle in a way in terms of your own authenticity and your own voice yeah, do you want to 100%. talk a little bit about that because your your social media now is really really rocking yeah so it's i i think it's just been like sometimes we downplay ourselves and i think from like the whole journey i've had time to kind of sit down and um reevaluate and review my performance and what i've done um it's made me really think okay like it's not just me that's going through this as well so let me just start sharing this and the amount of people that have got back to me, it's been like exponential. It's been like tons of people every single day that message me so feel like, honestly, your words have inspired me in so many different ways. Uh, you helped me push this, you helped me get that point, you helped me do this. And I thought I was doing this all by myself. Where as people, we like to sometimes have this beautiful exterior of like oh everything's fine everything's amazing but ultimately sometimes it's just a big mess behind mm -hmm. you and 
it's good to kind of like open up and talk about the experiences in life and business because a lot of people don't talk about it. They just think that everything should be absolutely perfect where life doesn't work like that. <laughs> life doesn't work like that. But then also it's um, the way that I've conducted the content is that it's kind of giving those up entrepreneurs um a nudge to say like listen you are going through this and it's okay and you're not alone on that mm -hmm. and i think it's the same thing that you do um with me and with your partners it's just like listen i've been there and i understand what it's like but then instead of just like not teaching people the way of like entrepreneurship and life it's ex like express it and share it but then that's the only way people can learn and not make the same mistakes you did yeah that's so true and and practicing what you preach is something that you've become you know adept at and so you're in fact let's talk about that because you've made it now your kind of speciality so your specific niche niche for those in america in canada in fact canada say niche americans mm -hmm. say niche we say niche um <laughs> <laughs> Your particular area is about how you present your personal brand. And of course, um, and I did a, a little bit of um, yep. uh, an overview of this on um, Monday, talking about the way that recently, because of some of the conversations I had with you um, and some of the, the way that I've, I've got my head around um, my, my what to say, really, what my voice is, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy, is it? And, and your so your speciality is to help people find their voice, get over themselves in terms of the fears about presenting. Do you want to talk a little bit about, you know, how you how you go about that? Yeah. Yeah. So um, and I, I'm, I'm glad that you've gone directly into this because it's something that I've been working on. and I'm super passionate about. Um, mm. You've seen me get crazy passionate over the past like month and a bit <laughs> about it. <laughs> Um, I've actually worked like a maniac, maybe. <laughs> literally. And it's, I think, a lot of people where they live right now, um, well, majority of the world, it's this, this applies with pretty much everything to do with business and personal life is like we're all here, majority of us are here, and you end up fighting with the insecurities or opinions of other people. So you're going back and forth with these insecurities and these opinions. And the insecurities are the internal work and the opinions are the external work. But if you can really get to understand who you are, what your purpose is, and you're doing it for the right intentions, for the right people, and your intention is good in terms of helping other people, that's number one, ultimately, where a lot of people, they do it for the external validation because of the likes or the numbers and so forth, where when you don't get the likes and the numbers and so forth, you get disheartened and you end up like, ah, oh, it's not working out, it's not working out. But it's when you start talking directly to your audience, you know it's a value to them, they then reply back with the most heartwarming information. And especially when you, you gotta look at it, is that content's up there forever. So it's gonna be there for more people to see at that specific time of creating it as humans, we want instant gratification straight away but over time that grows and people start to like it and share it and understand that that the value within the content that you're producing and what i like to do is just kind of push people to their limit to actually put themselves out there start building their personal brand that actually helps them push their business because like from my perspective i know that people buy people but once again it's people that buy people that they like and mm -hmm. if the more that you put out about yourself, um, more people like you will like yourself and your business. Um, and that's that's ultimately what I help a ton of people do. Like I work with uh, Shah Bailey. When she first came to me, she had like two, 300 followers. Now she's at 25K. And like she's in, she's doing some stuff with Coca-Cola and Soda Stream. She did stuff with like Gay Times and um, James's Villa. She got me some work with James's Villa, um, and just tons of tons of work. But I think from a personal brand perspective, it's important because ultimately you're a teacher, 
And what you want to do is to show that you're reputable as well and that you're you're willing to help people. Ultimately, after that, people will just buy into you and want to purchase from you or work with you because of how authentic you are and the that you're relatable to some level. So, so, so with that, the, the question that comes to mind in terms of you know the entrepreneurs that are watching this, um, how do you kind of advise? That they just take the first step because there's a lot of people out there that are just oh you know that i won't know what to say i'm worried about what i look like and you know i don't understand what i should be doing what, what's the first thing that could just help break that you know that barrier i think the first thing is actually just understanding what is it that you like and that you want to talk about um or even better like what is it that you want to change because if you know what you want to change in the world or in business or in life when you start talking upon those things you're going to get passionate about it when you're talking about stuff you don't like then it's not going to it's not going to fly and people can see straight through you straight away like they'll know that you're just trying rubbish and they're not really going to want to listen but i think ultimately it's about having that thing that you love and that you've got passion for and then you'll talk about it as long as as long as you want. That's a really good point, isn't it? Because we, you know, speaking from a brand partnership perspective, you know, selling websites, apps, SEO, that kind of stuff is um, is the actual sort of description of of what takes place. But behind that, mm -hmm. you know, there's this desire to want to help people, desire to want to give mm -hmm. people, you know, products and services that are going to actually give them some benefit. Um, the, the desire to yeah. educate, you know, the desire to want to take somebody who is, you know, struggling with their um, their their website or whatever their product is. They might be in a position where, you know, they've, they've not got a good product or service or anything else and giving them something that they're delighted with and actually showing them that transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think sometimes, you know, when people look at their business um, they struggle. They struggle to find their voice that can articulate that passion that they feel. Yeah. Um, you know, and and I'd love to know how I could help some of our partners. You know, find that that passion, that voice um, when they first start. When they first start, um, and it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. I think. I think after probing quite a bit and trying to understand the people that you're around, that you can you can get a be better gist of that. Uh, because some people could say, oh, I love websites all day and stuff like that. And it's like, OK, but like, what do you love about them? And then when they, when they actually explain it, great. But some might not be websites. It's about, OK, I've got this internal thing that my emotions are wrapped around that i need to make sure that there's a difference in the world to some capacity and then it's like making sure that the website entwines around that whatever that passion yeah. is and so when you deliver and you, you you're 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 delivering with like such force depends on what it is it could be you, someone that wants to do um like personal development um and it's about really helping the mindset of someone and making sure that they live in a better life or it could be someone that's a personal trainer and making sure that they've got the, the best body possible um over the past over the 12 how to look after your body over 12 months so over a year because some people probably do gym for about three months and then fall off for the rest of the year how to retain that and keep it up and dietary there's loads of different things out there but it's about finding the right people that you can mesh it with and then and put it out there but ultimately have to have the passion if you're not passionate or you're not enthusiastic about what you're selling or what you're doing it's kind of like no point doing it to be fair but it's that, like is, that is so so true and i think that um you know if i was to give anybody uh, some advice on that because i think some people you know they they struggle to um pinpoint the passion and then articulate you know what that passion is but every single mm -hmm. one of you guys that are watching that are entrepreneurs, you know, you started a business for a reason. And it wasn't just because you wanted to earn more money. 
<laughs> OK, because you chose a particular kind of business to do it in because you had an affinity with that business. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I find with 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 our partners, for example, and I use the website, I know lots of different people will be watching this from all sorts of industries, but the Bland Partnership Programme, um, you know, selling websites and apps, it's very rarely that it's the, the process of, of selling and taking the money that is the thing that drives people. It's the transformation that they provide. And when you see, you know, the, um, the, problem that's, the problems that you can solve with the products that you provide, that starts to generate momentum and you can start to articulate the passion more. Um, and it's like, I, I know that for myself, when I do I, uh, twice a week, I do a presentation that's about um, Blam, the Blam Partnership Program. Um, and when I get to the bit about the websites, Ed, Ed always like chips in and, and mocks me a bit because I clearly start to get excited <laughs> when I start talking, talking about, about Because I know from experience the benefit, the consequence of people buying that product. And I've seen how it can change their business. I've seen how excited they can get about it. I've seen how you know, almost like you know, the, the joy that it can bring. And that's what gets me passionate and excited about about the product. Um, finding that spark that gets you excited is the bit that you're talking about, isn't it? That's the bit where you'll know it because when you start talking about it, you'll start speeding up, you'll start being more energized. You'll, and you, and yeah. that authenticity is what people can tell. That's, yeah, what, that's what people go that's real. Whereas if you're just 100%. being, you know, sort of not, not, you know, not overly emotional about it or, or it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're sort of reading from a script. It hasn't got the power. It hasn't got the impact um, that, you know, that I think the modern social media audience um, craves. Yeah, definitely. Is, I think it, the I think one of the things with, uh, personal brand as well. I think it's important to understand who you are as an individual because when you actually understand who you are, what you like, what you don't like about yourself and just everything like in the world, but what you, what is great about you, that's when you can actually be confident. And when you've got that confidence, people love that because you're certain with what your capabilities are. Um, when you're not good at something, it's best to learn about it, great, um, and get better at it. And over time, you get better. It's, it's like sales. At first, you'll be rusty because you don't know what to do. Not until you get like a, a, a script and you understand it and you flow it and you make it your own and you get better and better and better. That's, that, that's what makes mm. you better. That's what makes you more passionate and enthusiastic to go and speak to more people. But at first... You might be like, this isn't for me. <laughs> but ultimately, it takes time. And when you know yourself and you know that it's not personal and that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to have your perception. And everyone has their perception as well. They're not wrong and they're not right. But it's just like, that's your perception. That's life. Um, and you're open to that. I think you're in a good space to actually create even more content. Um, mm. And I think it's just important to just share the journey of what you're going through. I think everyone likes the the polished ending, but ultimately, mm. it's oh, hello, oh, oh, you go. The... Sound, sound. Oh, there it is. Sorry, right. your sound went for a second. Oh, can, you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, so um, yeah. ultimately, it comes down to like you knowing yourself fully. And when you know yourself fully, like you can be your best self and it doesn't matter what other people's opinions are. And it doesn't matter about the traumas because you've dealt with that. You can actually just be you because there's loads of times that I've not felt like I could be me because I've not tried to understand me. I've always tried to be a people pleaser or help people constantly and just like fit everyone else's mold. But like when you know what your mold is, you don't need to fit in with everyone else. Especially in business, yeah. if you want, if you don't want to do business with people you don't like, then just don't do business with you people you don't like. With uh, people that <laughs> you like just dropped a massive value, but 
you just dropped a massive value bomb there. Yeah, once you figured out For who you are, you, yeah, when you once you figured out who you are yourself, then it doesn't really matter. That's absolutely it because yeah. you're, not, then, you're not having to please anything. I um, just wanted to do a quick shout out, mate, to the uh, to the people in the yeah. group. We've got Jamie, we've got Peter here, Gurdev, Daniel. Um, I think we've got some visitors over from uh, Canada and America as well. Uh, Janani's been trying to get in here. Um, uh, one of your biggest fans, Shelley, is here as well. So good to see her. Um, I think she. I think she fell in love with hey you. Guys. I mean, you did the uh, did, did the uh, thing. Sorry, I was breaking your flow there. But uh, um, I have a question for you, and then we'll drop in some questions from the others as well. Feel free to drop your questions in. We'll do a Q and A session. So you know, as you've been going through this transformation yep. yourself, what 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 have you kind of noticed that mm -hmm. you know started to happen? What some some of the challenges you faced? Um, you know, from your personal life what, what what's what's happened when you started to take this journey oh you're oh, gone you sorry man i think one of the most important things is is making sure that um you're constantly around people that are positive and people that are smarter than you because if you can lift your energy of people that are smarter than you and that um and your positivity then that flows into the work that flows into how much money you get that flows into your network um if you're trying to do that all by yourself it just doesn't work unfortunately it just it just doesn't work it's business is about your network and and your energy but if you're you've got terrible energy and you've got no people in your network it's going to be hard for you to 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 grow you need to be speaking to people you have to be doing activity period i think that's a number one. Um, you have to be in that state of mind. You have to be around smarter people. If you're not, then you'll always be in the same position like forever. Forever. Your, your network is your net worth. <laughs> yeah. So, so some, so some of the challenges. I mean, if you find, you know, obviously as you started this transformation, mm -hmm. have you found stuff stuff happening in your life where people have kind of gone? Theo, this isn't you, or they seen the change in you. If you if you notice that, yeah, well, yeah, massively. I think um, it happened. Like to be fair, I've been, I'm I'm a type of person that's very adventurous in terms of going out, working hard, and all of that type of stuff. But I think one was with my cousin the other day, and she was like, "Oh, what do you like about my content now compared to what it was? It's like informational. You're talking from more of an authority perspective, and like you've grown like massively as a person." Um, where before it was like more of like confidence, lack of confidence, but then it's, mm -hmm. you have to go through all of those things. If you don't go through it, then you don't grow. Like you have to go through it. I think one of the major ones was actually having people in my own team. Um, I was scared to delegate the work. Um, and when you're afraid to delegate the work, you are like, you're, you're about all next straight away. But now it's like, I've got three people got virtual assistants and I can see the growth uh, now that I've done all of that but it's mm -hmm. you have to go through it to understand it and learn it and know it when you do, when you can't then you, you you just you just when you don't you just stop in your growth and cool. it's like in business as well I think you you have to go through it like you have to really put in the work and do it you have to you have to do it. Sometimes you, you get stumped so many times you don't want to do it. But like you've got to just remember your reason why, the reason why you're here, the reason why you're doing it, and then keep on pushing forward after that. <laughs> Sounds like my cat wants to come in on the video. Yeah, <laughs> my cat wants to get in on the video. Um, good. Okay, well, we'll, um, we'll do a quick um, – we haven't got any more questions. If you're watching this on the rerun, feel free to drop comments below. Uh, we will be answering those questions as well. Um, and, um, yeah, as a, a kind of a wrap-up of the whole thing, unless you've got any further questions, Grant, um, what have you got going on? Tell the world what you, you know, your your brand, your website, your social cool. media, your YouTube yeah. channel, your podcast, everything that you're <laughs> doing, man, has been cool. awesome. You've been helping Grant. So Grant, yeah. Grant's social media is blowing up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, that, so thank you for that. That that. Yeah. that, that, that I phoned you the other day and I said, my God, what's happened? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Theo found my yeah. mojo. 
So, um, that's fucking awesome. Moment, I'm working on my, my business, which is social, uh, which Edward mentioned previously. I've got our online course is on ads. Um, it's basically Facebook and Instagram um, advertising accelerator. And it's just basically I'm giving you the strategy from top down perspective, but then also what each campaign does so you can implement that into your business so you can grow your business. Um, Where can we find that? Where can we so find that? That's actually on my website, www.theodorehoffman.club. Um, so that's on there. Um, there's going to be an offer that I'm going to give to you. Um, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, you're back. I'm you, back. You're back. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So um, that I'm going to give to Blam that um, can give to partners. Um, I'm also working on, my, well, I've finished my book. I'm actually just working on the sizing and everything for my book. And the book is called your content ain't shit, bitch. I know it's like in your face and rah, rah, rah. <laughs> but it's a, it's a really good book. It's about the things that I've mentioned just previously, which is being the, um, being the person in between your insecurities and the opinions of this world and how you can break through that and then also create the content and be your authentic self creating your content. Uh, this applies for your business as well, but it's important that you actually are you. Uh, you don't want to feel like you're living a fake life, which the majority of the world wants to live, but um, are, are living, but it's about being yourself. Um, so all of these things are going to be on my social media, which is uh, Theodore Hoffman UK on Instagram, on Twitter, Theodore Hoffman on LinkedIn, and my YouTube channel as well, which is just my name, Theodore Hoffman. And if you want to get in contact with me, just DM me, call me, message me. All my information is there. Or just ask these amazing guys because they've been there for me from the, from the get-go. Um, just branching out on my own, to be fair. So, like, these guys are legendary. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys have them as mentors. And, like, they've helped me a lot. So I can't really say much. And you I'm got the Huffington Post? And, and they've helped me a lot. You got... Well, thanks, man. Yeah, that's there's really a Huffington awesome. Post as well. And that's, that sounds... That's on Spotify, um, and it's also on YouTube. So, yeah, go and check everything out there, guys. That's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. mate. Absolute pleasure. It's just been, yeah, well, we, we bow to you. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've you, you've just you've just you're just you know you're in, you're in, you're in the stratosphere now. Definitely, <laughs> you you fucking so you, oh, excuse my language. We can't we can't swear. <laughs> <laughs> He's you've, already you've, you've, off the. Uh, I know. I think well, we can't. We can't. We can't upload this. We're gonna have to bleep. We're gonna have to bleep, fi somehow find a way to bleep this out before we upload it. Um, but um, yeah, man, you've launched. You're 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 in yeah, the stratosphere, mate. Man. Just just cool. execution in it. Just just do it. Even when you don't want to do it, just get it done. Awesome. Well, thank awesome. you so much, mate. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. You want to wrap anything up? Grant, or just no, bye for now. Yeah, just just don't forget, reach out to Theo, check out his courses. If anybody wants to find out more about um, you know, presenting, using social media, advertising, his courses are awesome, and he's doing Blam a deal. So if you're a Blam partner, you'll get a code. Uh, I presume is it a code, is it, to get the get the deal? Um I'm just, so check I'm just gonna give you a link and then it's automatic to any anyone that's from Blam. Fantastic. We'll get that out cool. in the Facebook group, guys. Um, but just follow through on it and get yourself out there, guys. Your personal brand, you know, you are your business. So let's make it happen. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Take care. Cheers, Theo. See you on the Thanks. next one. No problem. Thank you. Take care, guys.